Hey, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing out there? Awesome. So do you feel stagnant in your life right now? Do you feel like your life is a Ford monster truck stuck in the mud or whatever them trucks are? Do you feel like your life is like that right now? All right, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm going to give you a couple of tips to help you break out of that, that feeling there, right? So you know me. You know me by now. If you've watched my videos, you know that my like my main. I totally, I totally believe that the power of thinking rightfully, not just positively, but thinking rightfully, that is the key to get you moving and get you going in the direction that you want to go in your life, right? So, I've been there. There's, there's been times in my life where I felt like, man, my my life is. Where am I going right now? What's what, what's going on right now? What's really going on? But you know, I, with uh, proper thinking, clear thinking, clear thought, becoming aware of my situation, becoming aware of your resources, you, becoming aware of your resources, and keeping in mind your ultimate end end game or end destination for your life or where you want your life to go. Keeping those three things in mind, those will help you get yourself. That will help you eliminate that feeling of uh, feeling like you're being stuck in the mud, right? So let's see. Let us talk about resources first. So what are resources? Resources are any anything that you have available to you in your life that you can uh, make use of for your individual goal. So if you have a goal to become an actor, if you look at your network of people and you have people that have even spoken with a, a director or, or that sort of thing, that's a resource. If you have, if you want to cut your grass and you have a, a lawnmower, that's a resource. And then resources are going to vary based on the context in which you put them in. So depending on what the context is, so I just use two contexts, but there's obviously more context in life. So that's what a resource is. A resource is anything that you can use for your benefit, right? And then, you know, I'm going to say this and don't take this the wrong way, but people are resources too, right? And, you know, if, don't think of it as me saying that in a, in a way to say that like people are kind of like, like uh, a bottle of water, you drink the water and you throw it out. That's not what I'm saying at all. You know, people are, you are a resource to someone, believe it or not. If you're watching this right now, there's someone that finds you to be a resource in their life and vice versa. There's people in your life that you find to be uh, resources for you. So one way to get rid of that feeling of being stuck in the mud is to take advantage of those resources, man. Use your networks. Use your networks. So who do you know that can help you accomplish this specific goal? Right? So use that. Use your, use your network. That's, that's, uh, that's one tip there. So, so second thing, again, one of, the, one of the reasons why we feel like we're stuck in the mud or we're not going anywhere is we're too focused on the present. Now, you have to realize in life you have people, you have, you have two kinds of people in my experience. You have the person that's focused on the here and now every single day, like the next, literally the next minute is their only concern. And then you have people that are focused on five years from now, 10 years from now, et cetera. So you have present time focus and you have uh, a future future time focus so one of the reasons why people uh, get that feeling of being feeling like you're stuck in the mud is you too pre you too focused on the present so you have things going on in your life right now that feel like they're overwhelming right and what happens is when you're too focused on the present when you have uh, when you have situations that you need to clear up you develop narrow vision right so Tip number two, by focusing on the future, you know, so focus out, take your vision out, raise up, expand your vision, focus on your end goals, right? On your end goals. What's really important? Why are you doing, why are you doing the things that you're doing? Focus on those things and that will give you expanded vision. So it'll almost, it'll almost seem like you're able to look from the future back on your present situation from a dissociated viewpoint. You'll be able to do that and that will instantly make you feel that will instantly generate a feeling of control in your life right so look back tip number two look back at the present from the future right so when you're doing that thing that you want to be doing when you're living in that house that you want to be living in you know how will you 
what will you be seeing when you look back at today, right? Whatever today is for you, whenever you're watching this, right? Tip, that's tip number two. So reason number three, third reason why people, you know, um, tend to get that stuck in the mud feeling is because they're, because they're focused on a path. There's some fall. Oh, oh, that's a plastic bag. I'm say my studio haunted. Uh, the reason, one of the, this reason why people feel stagnant is because they're they're putting all their energy into a path that is not yielding results. Like they're pushing against a door that's not going to open up. So, tip number three: in order to further eliminate that feeling of feeling stagnant, you know, feeling like you're stuck in the mud. Focus your efforts on a project that, that will yield. So in other words, focus your energies on a project that is going to uh, respond to like your effort. So in other words, um, if you're trying to, you're trying to nail, you're trying to nail like a um, wooden post into the ground to build a fence, but you're finding that that spot right there is just not uh, opening up, then find another spot. Uh, similarly, if you're working on a project right now, you're just not getting no results. Like you're reaching out to people and you're not getting no response. Pick another project, work on that. All right. So you obviously you want to prioritize your project. So pick the project that's going to get you the most bang for your buck. Work on that project. And then if that's not working, if you're not getting any movement there, uh, work on the next high priority project, et cetera. All right. So use those three tips to help eliminate that feeling of being stuck in the mud and watch your life take off guys all right if you like this video if you like me and this video if you like us rate comment subscribe guys make sure you share and I'm gonna be getting on a schedule soon very soon so I'm gonna be doing like a maybe like Wednesdays because those are like good days for me to, to shoot videos and uh, put them up there so I'm probably gonna do every Wednesday for uh, postings guys all right so stay tuned just rate comment subscribe Love y'all. Peace. God bless.